In the last video, we have seen the technique of virtual memory using the method of demand paging. And the demand paging is the technique in which we start execution of a process by keeping some of the pages of the process, only some of the pages of the process in the physical memory, which are expected to be used right away. And the remaining pages will be kept in the disk and will be brought to the physical memory only on demand. We can extend this method to pure demand paging in which we start execution of the process with no pages of the process in the physical memory and every page in the process is brought to the physical memory only on demand. This method is called pure demand paging. Now let's see what is the performance of demand paging system. What is the effective access time using demand paging? Let P be the probability of page fault. So if there is no page fault, we know that the time required is only the main memory access time. So if there is no probability for 1 minus P, the time taken is the memory access time. And if there is a page fault, then it will create a trap to the operating system the state of the process has to be saved then we need to bring our desired page from the disk to the physical memory and if there is a free frame available in the physical memory we can just bring the page to the free frame available and we can update the page table of the process but if there is no free frame available, we should choose one page in the physical memory for replacement using a proper replacement algorithm. After that, we have to replace this page with our desired page. Then if the page to be replaced had been modified after being brought to the physical memory, we need to write back that page to the disk. Then we need to update the page table of that process. Then after bringing our desired page to the free frame then available, we need to update the page table of our process. So we have to do many things in case of a page fall. So the time taken for all these can be considered as the page fault time. So if P is the probability of page fault, then the time taken is the page fault time. And for 1 minus P, the time taken is just the memory access time. Now what is the effective access time of demand paging? It is P into page fault time plus 1 minus P into memory access time. Now we can see that the memory access time is always in nanoseconds but the page fault time is greater, it is in milliseconds. That is, if the probability of page fault is high, then the page fault time will increase and hence the effective access time using the method of demand page will increase. The effective access time is directly proportional to the page fault rate. Thus, our aim is always to keep the page fault rate as low as possible. If then, we will get the best advantage of demand paging method.